All right, what is up guys? So today we are actually here at Magic Kingdom in Florida. I'm already sweating, so you know it's already humid, but it's actually the opening day of Tron. And we're here to get all the merch if they don't sell out. We want to try some new food and happily ever fireworks are actually back. They started last night. We want to get Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and just some rides that we don't have at Disneyland. So we're only here for two days. Let's see how much we can get done. All right guys, so we just got off the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and honestly, I told Angela, I was like, this is no thunder at all. It was cool though, it was fun, it was something different. We actually didn't end up waiting the posted wait time. I said earlier it was 70 minutes, we probably waited like 25, so and in my opinion, that time wait was worth it, but I gotta be honest, I probably would not wait the usual 80 to 90 minutes for that ride, but it's cool that we did it. We don't have it in Disneyland, so it was definitely fun that we actually got to ride this anticipated ride, but what, what, what would you I thought it was mid. It was like a three and a half out of five, and because it was hyped, but it's cool. I mean, like I say, I'm glad we did it. It's not a waste of time or anything like that, but I would never wait 90 minutes for it. Sorry, I can't do it. We are now camping in front of the Magic Kingdom. Cinderella's castle is freaking it's huge. It looks crazy. The colors. We've never seen it in person, but now that we see it in person, it's wild. But we're actually camping for Mickey's Friendship Fair. Fair. Now at 10, and then it's 11 and 12. But we're only 20 minutes off, so actually throwing bubbles right now. But um, we're going to check that out. I actually heard that he has a new outfit now that the 50th is over. The castle looks the same. Maybe it's going to get repainted, but I think they're starting the 100th celebration here. So we're excited to see this.
actually have a whole hammer in this. And it's like pretty heavy too. <laughs> Dang. That's so cool. How much is that? 60 bucks? I thought that would be more, honestly. You should get it. No, <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> oh, it's my friend back. That's cool. Yeah, look how cute this is. Oh, that's sick. Yes, yeah. How much is that one? This is $40, $40. But I think I might get this. The quality is pretty good, too. I'm a fan. We're here for Tron, so I think I need something. <laughs> Large. This is <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're probably kids. Dang it. Is it me? <laughs> here, I could probably get this. I think that shirt's cool. All right, guys, we actually got some shirts. I honestly thought they were gonna be sold out, but they weren't. It was super packed in there. It was actually Stitch's old attraction where they moved all the merch. So I don't know if that launch base store is an opening. I guess we're gonna walk by and see if it is. But they pretty much had everything they had in the media preview. I mean, they have a lot of stock in there. It's 10.30 and they still were pretty much stock full. They have toys, shirts, sweaters, jackets. I mean, backpacks, tons of pins. They had this cool past member shirt and I'm a little sad because I really wanted it. But anyways, hopefully uh, next year we'll be able to take part in the past member stuff, but they didn't want to honor my magic key, what the heck? So Launch Depot actually is open. It's where they do the identity program. So the only downfall is you need a reservation for it. I didn't know that. So they're sold out for today and tomorrow already. So unfortunately we can't go in, but there are some videos of some people that attended the media event that actually show you what's in there. They have the merch and they have the identity program, which is putting your basically your picture in a Tron action figure, which is super cool. We want to go in the store. It looks really nice in there, but it's okay. We still got some merch. So hopefully next time. As you can see, we're at Tron, and this canopy is so cool. The, the music they're playing is so cool. The only thing is, we're not feeling so cool on a temperature standpoint. But we got a virtual queue at three, and then we bought a lightning lane, so we're gonna get it at night too. But we can't wait to try this. Now let's go try some food. We're trying the Tron snacks that they have that just arrived. So I'm starting off with the beef and broccoli dumplings. These look really good. Carson hates broccoli, hates any kind of vegetable. So this one is up to me. They're pretty good. Honestly, it's a lot to chew through, <laughs> but it's good. I mean, I'm not really surprised by anything. You can't taste a ton of the broccoli, but you, I think the beef is really what's overpowering it. But I'll probably give it maybe a three out of five. Didn't knock my socks off, but it also wasn't bad and it suits its purpose. It's a, that's all right. So I tried this thing. Me and Angela are not on the same page. This gets a four and a half out of five. Real good. Come get that. It's from Energy Bites. I am now trying the watermelon refresher. I honestly think it's basically a watermelon snow cone, but they give you this cool little glass and this thing is perspiring, so cheers. Whoa. Whoa, this is nice. It has pop rocks in it too, I didn't say that. So you can kind of get the little, little pop action. It tastes like the strawberry pop rocks mixed with the snow cone, but like a slushy, if that makes any sense. It's not, I thought it was gonna be really sweet, like, you know when you get a snow cone and you get that flavoring and it's just too much? This doesn't have that. This is really good. Maybe because it's hot as all heck, uh, but I'm really enjoying this. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. It's not gonna get a home run, but it gets that real good. So I recommend Energy Bites. Has some good stuff. We only tried two things. I, want, I may try the chocolate donut holes. I'm a sweet tooth, so I might have to try those a little later.
so next up is the people mover it's another ride we actually have never been on that we're gonna get to go on so hopefully the wait's not too too long we haven't even checked the app for times or anything like that so we're just trying to have a good time and cool off because it's hitting 91 today so let's see how this goes everyone loves it so we'll see if we do too Oh, Mike only has one eye. Um, can you remove an eye for us? <laughs> Closing that? Yeah, that'll work Cover too. Close it there, there it is. Ah. Yes. Well, the two of them, they lived in Monstropolis, which was in the middle of an energy crisis. Oh no, everybody say oh no. Well, it was Sully's job to generate power through screams by making scary faces. Making scary faces, are they like this? <laughs> ah. This would cause all of the children to scream! Everybody screaming out! Ah! Generating power for Monstropolis! And everybody said hooray! hooray! Well, one day a little girl wandered into the monster world through an open closet door. That's right, and her name was. What? You gotta go fast, come Be on, right 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 right. just go fast, go, go, go. Sully went to a nearby village to the door, back in the march world to try and get Boo back home. Brand new, chase one right right through the door, Bob. Took care of it, I'm exposed one on his nails, come back, ten times more powerful than Scream! Thanks, Sully! Let's have a round of applause for our monsters, put your hands together for the Wolverine Invisible Red! Great folks, we are going to demonstrate my basic mind reading powers. That's right, I can read people's minds. I'm what they call a telepathetic. <laughs> and so I need a volunteer. Who would like to volunteer so I can try out my pathetic powers? <laughs> Who would? Oh, thank you. Now I will really impress you. Think of a number, any number, I will read it from your mind. Do you have your number, Kathleen? I do. Great. Okay, now before we start, I want you to tell everybody out there what it is. That way they'll be surprised when I get it right. Now don't, listen, don't worry, Kathleen, because while you do that, I'm, I'm going to close my eyes so I can't hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kathleen? They all know it. They all know it. Wait a minute, you, you, everybody knows it? Yeah! Uh... <laughs> this, this, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. <laughs>
hot out here for us. We got actually on the walk-up list for the Jungle Navigation Super Quarantine. So far, it said it was 45 minutes, but then it dropped down to 35 for two people. We've never been there before, so I'm excited to see what kind of food they have. They do have drinks. So I'm excited to have one of those. I might just jump in front of this camel that's spitting uh, on you, but it's too hot, so I'll take whatever I can get. So we finally got called for the Skipper Canteen. We got sat pretty quick, true to time. I would say we only waited, what, maybe 30 minutes? And it's super cool in here. This restaurant is actually based on the Jungle Cruise ride and your servers are actually Jungle Cruise skippers. They give you a lot of cool jokes and things like that. So let's see how the food tastes. So we are trying the Brazilian cheese bites. They're actually not even on the menu or skipper told us about them. So let's see how these are. It's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, these are actually really good. I'm probably going to try it with the dip in there too. It's mostly like some type of pesto dip or something. But they're good. They're pretty warm. The entire thing is full of cheese. It's like fully full of <laughs> cheese. Let's try the dip. I like it more with the dip, I'll be honest. I'm probably going to give these three and a half out of five. That's all right. I know. I'm stuck on it, apparently. They're pretty good. I don't want to say that they're bad. But I'll probably give it a five. You will see. Yeah, you probably will. All right, so it's my turn. I'm probably going to give these a five because our palates are so off. Instantly, I was expecting it to be, like, cheesy, you know? But you see what I mean, right? It's like a warmed-up cheese string. Like, you know those string cheese? And they put it in a... This bread is like, like cream puff. Yeah, but with It's cheese. like if you took a cream puff and you put cheese in there instead of cream, so it's like a cheese puff. It's, yeah, I'm gonna give it a, that's all right too. I'm probably three and a half out of five. It's the first one we agreed on. <laughs> wow, we're gonna eat them now. So we are actually gonna try the taste like chicken because it is, that's literally what it's called. <laughs> Uh, it is fried chicken. It has some sweet chili sauce on it. We got it on the side because Carson's not about that life. But it comes also with some jasmine rice and stir fried veggies. So, let's see how it is? I'm gonna give this like a four and a half out of five. Yeah, the chicken's super juicy. I personally love the sweet chili sauce. Um, and give me veggies all day long. So, yeah, I'm a fan of this dish. I'm gonna give it a real good four and a half out of five. at all times. Keep restraints securely fastened. Supervise young team blue users at all times. Oh yeah. This is sick. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. digitized.
So that was freaking amazing. We we loved it. We ended up only waiting about what 25 minutes, maybe 30 tops. So the virtual queue wait wasn't that long. We did ask for the front row, so we were able to do that. We had to wait like four people, so it wasn't bad. I highly recommend the front row. It just feels faster. Everyone's been saying the ride is short. It's a little short, but honestly, we had a blast. It was still so much fun. I highly recommend waiting for it, even if the waits are long. I mean, I would. We have a lightning lane to ride it at night too, so we'll get to show you guys what it's like at night. But now we gotta go to Woody's Roundup Barbecue. So we're gonna try that food now. So we gotta hurry and make way that way. But Tron is a freaking home run. It was so good. So I've been telling Carson, like he knows how excited I am for this. And it lived up to the expectations. It was super fast. I love thrill rides. So anything that gets like your adrenaline pumping, like I'm all about it. So we asked for the front row. So worth it. It was, it was awesome. I'm gonna give that a five. I'm gonna give that a six out of five. That was definitely a real good, as Carson says, home run. This AC is nice. But one thing too is, I don't, I don't think I said this, they make you put pretty much everything you have in a locker. If it's not bigger than your phone, the cubby's pretty small. So they make you do that. You use your magic bands to unlock and lock it. And if you don't have one, they actually give you a locker card. So that was one thing that was really cool. But yeah, just know, put pretty much anything that's bigger than your phone, put it in the locker right away because we actually even saw some people, they made them go all the way back to the lockers and they were next in line and her bag was too big. So note that. Also. We had a situation where our virtual queue was going to be called about the same time that we had to be at Rodeo Barbecue. And this cast member was so awesome. His name was Armando. He actually changed our boarding time to be able to still do our virtual queue and go to our reservation. So you got to love cast members just making magic happen. We actually got a reservation to Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. So two of my favorite things. I'm a huge Disney fan from being a kid. Toy Story was my ultimate favorite. And barbecue is my second ultimate favorite. But the funny thing is, is Angela's not a fan of barbecue. So I'm curious to see what she's gonna like. But pro tip, the reason we got in here, there were no reservations available, but I downloaded what's called the Stakeout app. It's a third party have. Disney app. And basically what it does is you put your time in and it tells you if that time becomes available if someone cancels. So that's the only reason someone last minute canceled so we're able to get in here. Say party? First drink that I got is the Party Saurus Tex. Now, they just had a, a party, so I was like, you know what, give me that drink with the worms. So what it is, it's Minute Maid Premium Lemonade and Strawberry Puree garnished with gummy candy. So the worms, they said they actually pulled them out of Andy's backyard and kind of dusted them off and threw them in the drink. So I think it's fine, it's no big deal. That's really good. It's super tart, it's what, it's what you're gonna expect out of a flavored lemonade. 
and it almost tastes exactly like a gummy worm if you would eat that. So it's really good. If you don't like tartness, you probably won't like it. But I, I'm I'm kind of a fan of sweet drinks and. I think it's so hot. This is super refreshing. So I'd probably give it a four out of five. I think real good. So we actually, they started us off with a whole bunch of like salads and almost appetizers. So they gave us four dishes. The first one is biscuit. Second is a balsamic salad, a watermelon salad, and then a tomato and cucumber salad. So it looks like we're probably going to be in for a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, this is just beginning. And base price, I think it's basically like 45 a person. 45 for adults, I believe it's 25 for children. But you get like four appetizers and a whole platter of meat. And you pick four sides, and then you also get your own dessert at the end. And all like fountain drinks, sodas, all that kind of stuff is included as well. So I'm gonna try this biscuit action. I think this is Sarge's biscuit, right? These are good. These taste like a true traditional like barbecue biscuit. They're good. I like them. I give them. They're fresh. I don't know. Some. I think. I think it's lacking like a butter or something, like a butter glaze on there. So, I'll probably give it a four out of five. Still a real good. But I think I kind of wish they had like a butter. I don't know. What would you say? Like a, a coat, butter coat or something on there. <laughs> so other than that, they're good. Okay. So Rex's balsamic salad. I'm probably gonna give that four and a half out of five apples cut up throughout. Super good, adds like a little sweet to the balsamic. And I would probably say there's like the perfect amount of dressing in here too. Real good. Grandmother birth, we have a yard sale in the forward territory. I repeat, you say yard sale in the forward territory. Yard sale. Yard sale. They're gonna sell the toys. There's a yard sale. Slank roll call. You get it, Billy. Billy. Fully immersed, fully immersed in Andy's fruit and two in backyard rodeo. Our uh, server told us that we're now toys, so yeah, I guess we'll figure out what that means soon, sooner or later. So, this is called root and two in tomato salad. <laughs> Don't say that three times fast, it's too hard. But this is honestly probably my favorite one so far. I'm probably gonna give this a five out of five. You have to be team onions <laughs> to like this salad, though. Like, Carson hates onions. I love them. I could probably just like mm, eat them raw. But this is super good. It's really fresh with the tomatoes and the cucumbers in there. It doesn't feel super heavy either. I know that's how the balsamic was as well. So I don't know. I'm having a good time so far. I've been snacking on Wheezy's watermelon. It's watermelon. I mean, it, it's super fresh. It's good. It's sweet. It's not dry. It's not like, you know, when you get those hard watermelons, it just doesn't have any sweetness, no flavor. This watermelon's really good. But I mean, nothing special. It's just really fresh watermelon. So overall, I mean, just because it's a, a fresh watermelon, doesn't taste like processed, like it's been on the shelf or anything like that. So I give it a real good. I'd say four out of five. Oh, good still. For our main course, they brought out a platter full of a whole bunch of smoked things. So we have some smoked ribs. Looks like beef brisket, sausage, and also some barbecue chicken. And for our sides that we chose, you're allowed to choose four, but we can't eat all of this food, so we opted for three. We got some fried pickles, some, they're called the Married Spuds, and it's pretty much just like little teeter tots, and there's some sides for that as well, as far as the dip. And then the Slinky Dog Mac and Cheese. I wish we gave as good a description as the cast members because they like go into super detail with this whole presentation. So like the ribs are like Carolina style, I think she said. The pulled pork is like Texas style. The sausage is a, there's a snake in my boot sausage. So everything's super themed and then they enhance the slinky dog. That's why Angela did that. And everyone says the mac and cheese is 110 home run. So we're excited to try this. Well, I am. Angela doesn't even like barbecue. So this is going to be interesting. I hope 
he didn't see us. Now, folks, it's my pleasure to introduce the roughest, toughest, brighter than the last, <laughs> to the dino, and give a big roar for the one you all have been waiting for, the one, the only, So I got the lemon blueberry cheesecake. Y'all know, lemon's my jam, and uh, blueberry's my jam too, so I'm sure this is gonna be pretty good. I might be biased though. Dang, when you get everything, there's like the lemon, the blueberry, the cheesecake, and the crust at the bottom. When you get it all, it's nice. It's really sweet though, but I would give it a five out of five home run. This is good, super good. I'm trying the apple pie. Pretty basic, but I do love apple pie. I want like 15 of these. And I'm really old, so I don't know how that makes any sense. It works. Cool. It's a lot of food, but no. Five out of five. This looks really good. They have like little chunks. I feel like sometimes they blend it down to like too much in apple pies, but you still get like a tiny little pieces of actual apple. So again, the texture is making me happy. And they also have graham cracker crust at the very bottom as well. So it gives you a nice little like balanced bite. Love it. Look at this pencil they give you. Well, that's because we're toy sized. Now it makes sense. I was like, why do they give you this big old pencil? All right, before you give your review, all I have to say is, Slinky Dog! <laughs> he can't do it anymore. No I'll let you say why. I do that. <laughs> Overall, I think me and Carson are both gonna give this probably a five out of five. We had a great time here. The service number one was amazing. All of the servers were great. There was one in particular that was going around every single, we would hear him at every table he had and would tell people, Slinky Dog, every time he was sitting down there. You would hear cheese. him from like the whole other side of the yeah, restaurant. Across like the whole entire building. So that was hilarious. But no, we had a great time. My suggestion for this though is come if you're hungry. They gave us a ton of food. I feel bad, but we weren't able to finish all of it and it was just me and Carson. So come here when you're like really hungry. Honestly guys, the food was good. The ribs were probably my favorite. They had like a sweetness to it. We wanted to give you guys as much review, but there was so much food. The desserts were good. The apps were good. And all I gotta say is get the slinky dog. The mac and cheese. I would say overall, the atmosphere of the new restaurant is is awesome. It, it looks so much better than even probably what our camera will show. You definitely feel like you're in a cardboard box in Andy's backyard in this rodeo that he created. And all the different like actions that happen reminded me a lot of Trader Sam's, which was really cool. So if you can, get that stakeout app. And if you can't get a reservation, if you're coming soon in advance, use that app and hopefully they can get your times that you want. But if not, make your reservations pretty early on because Disney World is a whole different beast when it comes to coming to these restaurants. But we had a great time, tons of food. I think we're stuffed. I don't even think we have to eat for the rest of the night. Pro tip, get some of these when you're gonna be waiting for fireworks or parades, but these you can just literally throw them on the ground, sit down, you don't have to worry about like sitting in anything. And they have a little bit of a cushion, so you're not gonna be like hurting if you're camping for a couple of hours. Yeah, it looks like this is our spot here. And they all 
live happily ever after. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic
our journey comes to an end, but yours continues on. Grab hold of your dreams and make them come true, for you are the key to unlocking your own magic. Now go, let your dreams guide you. Reach out and find your happily ever after. The battles, the story, the losses in all the glory would change by the way we live every day. Just look up and reach to the sky. now we made it into launch depot and they're actually just open doors so obviously it was because the crowds are crazy this morning but we're actually getting to come in here and check out what they have to offer everything looks the same they have like a couple different cases uh, the action figures from what i heard i'm gonna look but they're not doing them right now i don't know if they had to fix some things going on with them or what was going on but cue the b-roll to all this cool merch Caesars, a championship performance and victory for Team Blue.
All right, guys, so we are now wrapped up at Magic Kingdom. We definitely had a home run day. We had a blast for our first time being in Disney World, so I highly recommend Ride Tron, whatever you can do. If you need to buy a Lightning Lane, buy a Lightning Lane. We have one more day here, so there's gonna be a new video coming out. In closing, guys, we are tired. We need to get to bed, because we gotta get up early tomorrow. But, in closing, thank you all for the continuous support. Don't forget, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate that. See you guys next time.